Hi students, this is Ram Kishor, faculty in ECE, DBS IT, Kavali. So in today's class, I would like to explain about uh, rectifiers. So these rectifiers uh, may be divided into three types. May be divided into three types. They are first one is uh, off wave rectifier. Off wave rectifier. Second one, full wave rectifier. Full wave rectifier. So this full wave rectifier again divided into two types with filter, with filter, and without filter, without filter. So generally the main component will be used in these rectifiers are the diode. So by using diode we can construct uh, any type of rectifier. So rectifier uh, are the circuits. These are used to convert uh, an alternating current into direct uh, current. So that means whatever uh, we get the supply from the power supply we get the alternating uh, current. So these will be constant or uh, converted as a direct current. So as we consider the peak points of alternate current. So we, when we are adding these peak points and eliminating uh, these portion, so that will look uh, done by the rectifier. So these are the circuits. These are converting alternating current into direct current. So half wave rectifiers. Uh, are designed using a diode and a load resistor. So in these rectifiers, only one half of the input waveform is obtained at the output. That is, the output will compress either of positive pulses or the negative pulses. So when we draw, when we discuss detailly about the half wave rectifier. Off wave rectifier. So the circuit diagram for this off wave rectifier is uh, so it consists uh, on a single diode and it may have the output resistor. So at the input, so we have to apply the AC input. That is alternating current input for this one, and at this one we have to connect the ground supply. So that is the positive terminal and the minus terminal. So same on the positive and the minus is RL. So across this RL, we get we can take the output that is a DC output. DC output. So this is a simple circuit for the half wave rectifier. So here uh, the waveforms for this one is uh, the input, wherever uh, the AC input we are applying, uh, so this type of circuit that means it consists of uh, time, quality and the voltage. So this is uh, AC input, AC input and the output from this uh, AC input is that may consist uh, only the positive portion. So wherever we have the positive portion, so that will be appear. The negative portion will be disappear. The negative portion will be disappear. So this is the output, this DC output. So this is the input waveform and this is the output. So how why these uh, Waveforms are eliminated because uh, so in these rectifiers only one half of the input waveform is obtained at the output. So the polarity of the output voltage so obtained uh, across RL depends on the direction of the diode used in the this off wave uh, rectifier. 
so in this the output waveform consisting of only positive pulses while uh, the figure uh, whatever it has shown it has uh, only negative pulses in its uh, output waveform so this is because uh, in this figure uh, so it is the diode gets forward bias so this is will be forward bias so whenever they are applying this uh, uh, positive pulses to this diode Uh, at the time this will be forward bias uh, only during the positive pulses of uh, input which causes the current to flow across rl uh, and producing the output voltage further uh, the same case the input pulses becomes negative then the diode will be reverse bias uh, and hence uh, there will be no current flow and no output voltage so whenever this uh, diode is forward bias so the only that portion will be appear so whenever this this uh, a stream will start at this point then uh, it will the diode will be turned into in off condition uh, like works like as a off switch so uh, across the rl we didn't get any current so the uh, the negative portion will be disappear from the output so uh, that's why you can call it as a off wave rectifier off wave rectifier so whenever we reverse this diode in this diagram diagram so that that will be same for this uh, same circuit so the resultant waveform is it will gives only the negative waveforms only the negative portion of the circuit so it is uh, similarly for the circuit shown in uh, yeah, it is like as uh, this type of uh, circuit so the diode will be forward biased only when the input pulse is uh, negative only when the input pulse is uh, negative and thus the output voltage will contain only the negative pulses so further uh, it is to be noted that uh, the input uh, to the off wave rectifier can be supplied uh, even uh, via the transformer uh, this is uh, advantages as the transformer provided uh, isolation from the power line as well as uh, it helps in obtaining the desired level of dc voltage so one can one can connect a capacitor across the resistor in the circuit of off wave rectifier uh, to obtain a smooth dc output so whenever instead of resistor we have to connect a capacitor we get uh, a smooth uh, output so here the capacitor charges through Uh, diode uh, during the positive pulse of the input while it discharges through the load resistor rl when the input pulse will be negative so these uh, output waveforms uh, will contains uh, the rectifier will have the uh, ripples uh, so that will be eliminated by using uh, both uh, resistor and cap uh, capacitor uh, in a uh, series in series uh, manner so there are different parameters associated uh, Uh, in the half wave rectifier uh, so we have our different parameters those are nothing but so first parameter is uh, peak inverse voltage uh, so that in short form we can call it as a pid peak inverse voltage and the second one is uh, average voltage average voltage in short form uh, it will be known it as uh, average uh, voltage so third one is uh, ripple factor in short form we can call it as rf ripple factor and uh, fourth one is uh, in short form, fourth one is uh, tuf uh, transformer utilization factor transformer utilization factor so the peak inverse voltage is uh, this is the maximum voltage which should be understood by the diode under uh, reverse bias condition and is equal to the peak of the input voltage and the average voltage is defined by so this is the dc content of the voltage across the load and is given by so it is in the form of pm by pi so that is the maximum peak voltage by pi 180 180 degrees so similarly the dc current is given by so this is for ac current And the DC, D for the DC one, so that is, is equal to I M by pi for the DC. 
DC current uh, where I m is the maximum value of the current and the ripple factor is uh, defined by it is the ratio of uh, root mean square value that is RMS value of uh, AC component uh, to the DC component in the output so that is uh, that is given by so ripple factor it is a uh, small r uh, represented with root square mean by that is minimum by VDC whole square minus 1 whole square minus 1 so for that for half wave rectifier RMS voltage is given as Vm by 2 which results in the ripple factor so by using this formula we can get 1.1 for average ripple factor for any half wave circuit so it is the ratio of DC output power to the AC input power and is equal to 40.6% 40.6 percent and the transformer utilization factor it is the ratio of DC power delivered to the load to the AC rating of the transformer so that is equal to 0.287.287 so these are the different factors associated with so next one is a full wave rectifier so it is the circuit which converts the input alternating current into direct current uh, so that is nothing but rectifier if such rectifiers rectify both the positive as well as negative pulses of the input uh, waveform so these are called a full wave rectifier so in the last class I already we seen a uh, off wave rectifier uh, so that is uh, rectifies only half portion of the input but it rectif rectifies full portion of the rectifier so the main difference between a uh, half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier is uh, so in half wave rectifier uh, that consists only single diode but it is uh, full wave rectifier it consists two diodes with uh, a center tap uh, transform so let us see the circuit diagram of the full wave rectifier so this transformer has a primary winding primary winding and for the secondary winding secondary winding so this may consist of two diodes two diodes one is the D1 D1 diode and another one is the D2 diode D2 diode and with center tap center tap means here so in between the transformer and the diodes we have to use our load resistor load resistor RL. So in between uh, RL we get the output voltage V0. So at uh, primary of the transformer we have to apply uh, the AC input, AC input signal, AC input. So this is called uh, primary winding and this is called the uh, secondary winding of the transformer and this is called uh, center tap. Uh, uh, terminal of the transformer so by using this setup so we have to uh, design a full wave rectifier full wave rectifier for example we have been given this type of uh, input AC input so this is a VI input and output we get uh, for the for positive portion and for the negative portion we get the rectified uh, outputs rectified uh, outputs so this is uh, this form of output will you get from the full wave rectifier. So I am coming to this uh, operation. Operation. So this figure shows such a rectifier, full wave rectifier, designed using a multiple winding transformer whose secondary winding is equal divided into two parts. These are two parts with a provision for the connection as at its central point it is referred to as a center tap transformer so two diodes D1 and D2 and load resistor so here the AC input is fed to the primary winding of the transformer so while an arrangement of diodes and the load resistor which yields the DC output is made across its secondary terminals so this circuit can be analyzed by considering its working during the 
positive and the negative input pulses separately. So here uh, this figure shows uh, the AC pulse in positive nature. Uh, the polarity of the top of the primary winding is positive while the bottom of it will be negative. So here whenever uh, we apply uh, a center damper transformer, so for the upper diode uh, we, it uh, receives uh, positive portion and the lower diode it receives uh, negative portion. So during the positive portion this diode will be followed by us and we get this resultant and this, during the negative portion so this will be uh, forward by us and we will get uh, uh, this type of uh, uh, result this type of result uh, for uh, full wave this causes uh, the pa top part of the secondary winding to acquire uh, a positive charge uh, while the common center tap terminal of the transformer will become uh, negative so this causes the diode D1 to be forward by us which in turn uh, causes uh, the flow of current through RL so this current through RL along the direction is shown in this figure however at the same time diode D2 will be reversed by us and acts like, acts like an open circuit so this causes the appearance of positive pulse across the RL which will be the DC output next the input pulse becomes negative in nature then the top and the bottom of the prim primary winding will acquire the negative and the positive polarities respectively so this causes the bottom of the secondary winding to become positive while its center tap terminal will become negative thus the diode D2 gets forward by us while D1 will get reverse bias which allows the flow of current and the most important thing to note is the fact that the direction of in which the current flows via the RL low resistor will be identical in either case both for positive as well as for negative input pulses thus we get the positive output pulse even for the case of negative input pulse which indicates the both the off cycles of the input that are uh, AC for the applied input AC are rectified. That means uh, whenever we are applying uh, the alternating current, the alternating uh, current. So here during the positive portion, uh, positive portion, so here we get the plus and the minus, minus point. So here uh, we get uh, this is the forward bias, forward bias and we get this kind. So next, so this will be minus for negative, minus and plus. So for this, whenever the negative will come into the positive, so again for the negative pulse also D2 will be forward bias and we get another rectified output and both the, for the both positive and negative will be rectified by using the full wave rectified full wave rectified such circuits are referred as center tapped full wave rectifiers as they use a center tapped transformer so two diode full wave rectifiers we will also we have to use in type of application because of using two diodes and bypass circuits due to the fact in that in these circuits so the output voltage will be the phasor addition of the voltage developed across the lower resistor due to two individual resistors where each of them conducts only for a particular off cycle however we have shown the two diodes in this figure the output of the rectifier is not a pure DC but pulsating in nature so because where the frequency of the output waveform is seen to be double of the tap the input in order to smoothen this one can connect a capacitor across the load resistor as shown in this figure the output waveforms are shown in this figure this causes the capacitor to charge diode D1 as long as the input positive pulse increase in its magnitude but the time of the input pulse reaches the magnitude 
positive maximum value, the capacitor would have charge to the same magnitude. So as long as the input positive pulse keeps on decreasing, the capacitor tries to hold the charge acquired as a the capacitor will act like as a energy storing element. So there will be a voltage across the some amount of charge get, gets lost through the path provided by the load resistor as long as the input pulse starts to go low to reach the negative maximum the capacitor again charge to positive to provide the diode D2 and acquires almost a better voltage for the opposite polarity so next the, as the input voltage starts to move towards the next so by based on that uh, we get uh, a full way rectified uh, operation. So thank you for uh, watching this video. Please subscribe uh, DBS Talks. Uh, thank you.